I'm out in Kona, Hawaii this week, and I'm doing a course preview for the World Championship and 70.3 um, race that's out here. I'm looking at the different road surface conditions, talking about aerodynamics and a number of different things. I got uh, shot a bunch of footage and I came back and I looked at it and, and the video that's up in Javi, it is extremely windy and it's kind of hard to hear me. And I know that and I wanted to leave it there so that you can kind of get a, a real feel for what it is like up there. Um, it's one of the only places in the world where uh, Ironman course doesn't allow a disc. It's illegal to have a disc here because of those winds. In any cycling situation from the studies that we've done, we've learned that on average, when you get hit with a crosswind, it's gonna hit you somewhere between minus 10 and plus 10 degrees of yaw. So if you think straight ahead is zero, you know, minus 10 or plus 10 degrees of yaw is where you're gonna get hit with that wind. Now here, it is one of the only locations where the wind actually does blow straight across the road. And when you look at the video, you can see the trees are blowing sideways, they're actually growing sideways as well. And that wind can actually move you on the bike. It's why the discs are illegal. Most people, we always recommend sizing down. Anytime you're doing anything from a wheel selection perspective, you wanna be on the deepest wheel you can handle. So out here, normally that's smaller and it's really up in that Javi section. If you're doing the 70.3, um, you start up at the Fairmont. So you still go up through Javi and then you turn around. So uh, it's still something that you really need to consider. Another thing you wanna consider out here in Kona is the heat. Uh, in these races, it gets very hot. Uh, the Energy Lab is part of the run and it's known for its sort of punishing heat. Um, out here again uh, on the race course on the Queen K, it gets very, very hot as well. So we talked about this previously in a video we did out in Miami. It's also very hot down there. And one thing that we recommend is that when you air your tires up, you want to kind of do it at the temperature that you're going to be racing at. So for every 10 degrees that you increase your temperature, you're going to increase your tire pressure by about 2%. So if you air up in a cold hotel room and then you go out and you leave your bike in transition and the sun picks up, you can pop tubes, you can have a number of issues. So get your wheels out, get them moving, um, warm up the tires and sort of the temperature that you're going to be in and then set your pressures. And from there, that's going to help you out a lot. If you do have any questions at the end of this video or you want to talk through wheel selection, uh, please feel free to reach out. You can book a wheel one-on-one -on -one with me. I'm happy to help you set up and get your ideal situation for the 70.3 or World Championship course. For people racing the 70.3 or the World Championships this year, uh, this is the pier. And then right over here is T1 where they come out on the bike. The road service conditions here in town are actually really good. The big issues out here are on the Queen K. We're gonna go up, check, take a look at that now. And we'll talk about uh, some tire considerations up on the up on the course. I'm out here on a section of the Queen K Highway. And if you look at the pavement, it's actually very smooth. The biggest issue out here is gonna be the debris that's on the road. There's a lot of steel belted radial and flats from punctures are very common. A lot of times people will go up to something like a Continental uh, Gator Skin tire but using a tire like that, the rolling resistance is so bad that you're going to add eight minutes to your Ironman time if you were to use, if you were to use a different tire with something like a Continental GP5000. The best thing you can do out here is use a tubeless tire. The minute you go to tubeless, you're going to prevent all those flats with those small punctures. It's going to be a big help. But make sure you're picking a tire that has enough durability in the rubber. Something like a Vittoria Corsa has a very great rolling resistance, terrible aerodynamics, but it is very soft and so it can still puncture out here. Something like uh, Continental GP5000, which is our tire of choice. Great durability, great aerodynamics, and great rolling resistance. And on a course like this, it's gonna save you a ton of time. I'm just outside the town of Javi, and I am on the course where the wind is known to be extremely strong and comes straight across the road. This is one of the only courses in Ironman in the world where discs are illegal, and it's because of these crazy winds. You can see some of the trees But most people think the wind and crosswind come straight across in most situations, and that's not true. It's more between minus 10 and plus 10 degrees of yaw. But this course, you can see the grass right here on the ground. It's coming straight across the road, and it is strong. It's why you cannot use a disc if you want to size down on your wheels 